55. Okay, so page 50, number 55. All right, perfect size, the whole works. Here we go. So they want to know when f of x equals g of x. So I'd say square root of 3x plus 1 equals x plus 1. Ooh, this one is tough. This one is tough. This is one where you probably, oh, there's actually, it actually is a lot nicer than I thought. Because what would you guys do? Well, the square root out of the way is kind of tough. But the ones could be gone, right? So I can subtract one, one from both sides, and I have the square root of 3x equals x. Now it's going to be a lot nicer to deal with. So now I can square the right side, square the left side. And if I square the right side, what do, or left side, what do I get? 3x. 3x equals x squared. So now, ooh, this one's still, still not a neat, a simple problem, but boy, a lot simpler than if it would have been in a different situation. <laughs> Excuse me. So now I've got to go ahead, if there's two different degrees of x, x squared and x, so I've got to get all the x's to one side. Now i got to take out an x. How you doing? Let's go. So x equals 0 x equals 3. Good question. Now, if it would have been something like this, though, ooh, square root of 3x equals x minus 2, that's a different ballgame. That's a really different ballgame. Because if I square the right side, I thought somebody was out there for a second. I was getting freaked out. And that's something we'll probably take a look at later this year. Squaring both sides when there's two terms. This one actually works out a little bit better. So now let's double check it. If I plug in 0, I get 1 equals 1. Sweet. If I plug in 3, I get square root of 9 plus 1 is um, 3 equals, there you go, 4 equals 4. So both those work fantabulously. 88. 88. Right, the area of a circle, the fun function's circumference. Okay, so this is where we were talking about writing formulas for functions um, the other day. So this is what I want, but what do I have? Area equals pi r squared. I don't want the r. I want to get r out of there and put back in something that has a c in it. So what, what equation relates C and R? Um, circumference. circumference pi no, pi, not pi R squared, because that's area. 2 pi R. So, so now I've got this, i got an equation that's relating the two things that I want to remove and replace. So what do I do with that then to replace R? I can't plug it in yet, because there's no... Oh, you solve it. Solve it for r by itself. So c over 2 pi equals r. So now what do I do? Now I plug it in. a equals pi times c over 2 pi. Quantity squared. Okay. Now let's simplify. It's 2 squared is 4 pi squared. I can simplify a little bit more. What can I do? Oh, come on! Cancel out a pi. That pi cancels my square, so I have circumference squared over 4 pi. So if I'm given the circumference, that'll take me right to my area. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I got the yawn. Something fierce. You bet. Hmm. Okay. Find the domain. So f of x equals the fourth root of one minus x squared. Yeah, this one's kind of a tough. Fourth root, 
So this has got to be positive. 1 minus x squared is greater than 0, or greater than or equal to 0. Well, oop. This one is a difference of two squares. I'm going to factor it. So now let's take a look at this. Um, there's a couple of different ways I could do this. I'm not quite sure which way is going to work best for you. To have this be positive, can x be very big? No, because no, if I take a big number squared, it gets to be a bigger number. 1 minus a big number gives me a negative. I can't do that. So what numbers do I need? I need small numbers. If big numbers won't work, I need small numbers. So what we could realize is this. 1, negative 1, it's going to be all the numbers through here. Because those are the numbers that if I square, I get something less than 1 or equal to 1. So 1 minus that number gives me a non-negative. <sighs> Man. Hmm. So that one, that's probably not a, a, a not a question you'll see on a quiz at this point. But you know, what you could do is go, ooh, something special is happening in 1 and negative 1. Would does 2 work? Nope, that gives me a negative. So these out here don't work. Does negative 2 work? No, nope, that doesn't work. So then it's just going to be the numbers between. Okay? Anything else going once? Going twice? Okay. So, this next part is, is important. And we're going to do a few examples. Because um, this is actually a calculus skill, okay? Um, I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to do number 80. I'll do the evens. I'll have you guys do the odds. Number 80, it says find the difference quotient and simplify your answer. Well, I'll write everything down here. fx equals 5x minus x squared. And they want us to find f of... 5 plus h minus f of 5 all over h. Okay. So, what the heck? Well, what if I asked for, let's do it, let's do something different. If I asked for f of pig minus f of cow all over uh, H. What would F of pig be? How do I find F of 2? I plug in 2. How do I find F of pig? I plug it in. So I'd have 5 pig, don't write this down, minus pig squared. Minus and what's f of cow? Okay, now th this, you know, you guys should all be saying 5 cow minus cow squared. Because how do we find s um, f of something? We take that something and we plug it in. Okay? I'm just plugging in something. Okay? I'm just trying to show you that I don't care what's what they're asking for. f of pig, f of cow, f of f of 5 plus x, f 5 plus h, f of 5, it doesn't matter. I just take that and I plug it in. So what's f of cow again? Minus cow squared. Okay? So then it'd be all over h. So no matter how ugly this is, I'm just going to plug in what they're telling me to plug in. Okay? Am I recording? Thank goodness. Okay? Okay. So this one. F of 5 plus H, what do I do to find F of 5 plus H? Plug that in. So we have 5 times 5 plus H minus 5 plus H squared. This has huge implications for your future, this problem right here. Are we done yet? 
No, because all we've done is a 5 plus h part. Minus, and I'm going to put parentheses or brackets around this next part. How do I find f of 5? Plug it in. 5 times 5 minus 5 squared. All over h. Okay, and let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. So now, we just have to simplify it. First of all, so plugging it in, we're just going to plug 5 plus h in, we're going to plug 5 in, write it out. Okay? This step is not difficult if you just think, okay, all I'm doing is removing x and putting in 5 plus h. All I'm doing is removing x and putting in 5, and I'm going to put a minus between those. Okay? Now I've got to simplify. I've got some work to do. This is why we reviewed things. 25 plus 5h minus 5 plus h squared. Remember, that means 5 plus h times 5 plus h. So help me out. What is 5 plus h to the 5 plus h? 25 10h plus h squared. Good. Okay, so that's that. Minus and and this, yeah, it's zero, isn't it? Sweet. That doesn't always happen, but in this case, yay. All divided by h. Okay. Let's simplify. Let's drive my negative through. Combine like terms. Five and negative ten just gave me negative five. Everything has an H, so I can just cancel out an H. Negative five minus H. Bingo, bango, bongo. You have no idea what that means. And that's okay for right now. We're just working on a scale. This is a difference quotient that actually leads to the derivative and the slope of a curve. Okay? Or what's called instantaneous change or um, average rate of change. Okay? So we're, I'm going to whip another one up. You can do this next one on your own. f of x equals, I'm going to keep this one fairly generic, 3x plus 2, and I want you to find f of 4 plus h minus f of 4 all over h. I want you to find that. we missing besides Boy, that's not, that's kind of difficult to see today, isn't it?
Let me know what I'll do. I'll just go to a darker pen. If I make mistakes, I'll just have to scribble. Did you get three? Yes. yes. Okay. If not, got to figure out where you went wrong. The next one's going to be more challenging. Took four plus h, plugged it in for x. Three times four plus h. Plus two minus. Plug, take four. And I got to have these brackets around here. Got to have these brackets around here because that's going to remind me to make that negative on the next go round. Okay. Um, okay. So then I combine like terms, 3h over h gives me 3. Okay. Let's try another one. Um, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to create some new ones rather than use them all up from the book. Okay. Oh, that's x cubed. I don't want to do that one. Good. That's all good. Okay. So let's say f of x equals um, 5x squared plus 1. And I want you to find f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. So what are we plugging in for x? a plus h. What are we plugging in for x? a. Okay. Go ahead. This is called the difference quotient. We are finding the values different of different difference quotients. If you know what you're doing, don't look up here, but if you're stuck, I'm going to get started.
Oh, I forget my plus one here. Five a plus plus one plus one plus one. So those will cancel. <coughs> Get it? Good job. Get it? All right. Get it? Good. Get it? You can reduce that. I could take out a five so I could factor it, but I don't know if it'll really do me much good. So that's just personal choice. Personal choice. Okay. Well, so let's bump up the difficulty just a little bit more. Okay. F of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. And I want f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Okay. So now, this is where people start getting freaked out. They're like, oh my gosh, I gotta take out x and then put in something with x? Yeah. It's all right. Take out your old X and put in something with X. Not the end of the world. We can still do that. Well, let's get a head start. Well, let's get a head start and I'll get going. Okay, so here we go. Equals x plus h squared minus If you weren't quite sure, maybe you should check your first step. I have my first step up and rolling. This is why, when they get to calculus, I've asked calculus teachers before, okay, I said, what can we get the kids, what, what can we do to kid, get the kids more ready for calculus? And honestly, I swear to God, here's what he says. Three things. Algebra, algebra, and algebra. He goes, if they can't do algebra, they don't have a shot. Because if you imagine, if they're doing something like this, there's so many different places to make mistakes. If you're not rock solid on your algebra, the theory, and you know, you might have a good theory, but if you don't have good algebra skills, it's like, I don't know. Okay, so this is stuff that before we even tackle theory, we've got to be able to do this. Have you noticed that a lot of things usually cancel? Mm -hmm. Yes, a lot of things will usually cancel. Where's my h squared? Oh, so I should have 
plus h squared plus h, right? Yeah. So how many of you guys did better than Mr. Rexroad? other things I could I could pile on but this I just want to focus on this today let's focus on difference quotients okay so I'm going to write up a couple more and then you guys are going to work on these tonight so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do page 50 numbers um, 79 and 82. Okay. Not too worried about 81 at this point. Okay. And then I'm going to give you three more. Okay. Let's say f of x equals We'll do that letter A, letter B, letter C, I'll tell you what, let's do that. So you get six problems. <laughs> 